Today we're on our way to Willow City. You probably haven't even heard of it, but it's 45 miles outside of Austin. Some of the most beautiful wildflowers and beautiful countryside you'll see. Plus, we're gonna try some great barbecue. We're sitting with infamous, famous Harry. <laughs> this is, was always known as a place where outlaws hung out. Speaking of bandits, how is the barbecue here? Great. Best barbecue in Willow, Texas. <laughs> there aren't too many places now. In 1870, there were 150 people here. How many do we have now? 14. It's a metropolis. Well, Chip Thompson is going to take us on a whirlwind motorcycle ride Ooh. straight through the hill country. Sunscreen, helmet, sunglasses, gloves. We're go. Hello, everyone. I'm Chip Thompson, and welcome to another edition of Highway 42. That's the way it's going to be every week on Highway 42. The journey, not just the destination. Our Chip Thompson recently sat down with Butch, the conversation all about Tiger. With changes in his game and his swing that have led to enhanced creativity, look for Tiger to dominate the Open at St. Andrews, just like he dominated the U.S. Open at Pebble Beach. From Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm Chip Thompson. We're at the VH1 Fairway to Heaven Golf Tournament, and maybe it's time to take a closer look. Boy. Have things changed? Dan, uh, the golf game, how is it? Well, I think you just documented it. Um, I think people can see for themselves. And uh, I'd like to apologize. I know nothing about what I'm doing. I'm joined by Jane Seymour. Jane, the VH1, Fairway to Heaven. What are you doing here? Playing golf. I love to play golf. I'm joined by Mark Kalkovecchia and Brett Michaels of Poison. I'm playing golf, Chip. <laughs> Every Thursday, News 8 Austin tees up for Bill Monday's South Point Cadillac 8 Under Par. All the players, all the celebrities. I'm with Glenn Frey. That's one of the really fun cities there are. No bogeys about it. Follow through with Chip Thompson every Thursday on News 8 Austin. For News 8, I'm Chip Thompson, and we're still 8 Under Par. you nervous or something? Well, yeah, I am. What are you nervous about? I'm the one with the trial that starts tomorrow. I'm the one under the gun here. You want to know what I'm nervous about? Yeah. I will tell you what I'm nervous Jeez. about. Good one. I am in the dark here with all of this legal crap. Okay, I got no idea what's going on. All I know is I see you screwing up and I can't help. You gave me that little camera, remember? <laughs> Benny, I am watching you go down in flames and you are bringing me with you. And there's nothing I can do about it. And? Well, you know, I hate to bring it up because I know you got enough pressure on you already, but we did agree to get married after you won your first case. Meanwhile, 10 years later, my niece, the daughter of my sister, is getting married. Okay? My biological clock is ticking like this, Benny. And the way this case is going, I am ever getting married. Don't do one of these right now, Lisa. I swear to God, don't do one of these. I got a judge who's just aching to throw me in jail. I got a guy who wants to fight me, an idiot, for $200. I got slaughtered pigs, giant loud whistles. I ain't slept in five days. I got a murder case, which in the outcome holds the balance of two innocent kids. Not to mention your... 
biological clock, my career, your life, our marriage, is there any more shit you can pile on top of me? Tell me, is it possibly possible for you to pile any more shit on the outcome of this case? Is it possible? You know what, maybe it was just a bad time to bring it up. Think? What's with the ham? You know, I don't know. It started down in Portsmouth and they sent us down for embarkation. Well, you may need to find yourself a new line of work. This one doesn't seem to agree with you anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, what was the name of that kid? Do you remember the one at Anzio? The kid that used to walk on his hands all the time and, and sing that song about the man on the flying trapeze? Vecchio. Vecchio. <laughs> yeah, Vecchio. <laughs> what a goofy kid, huh? <laughs> remember he used to pee a V on everyone's jacket? Vecchio? <laughs> For victory? <laughs> I don't know how he made his arranger. He was so, so little. He was a midget. <laughs> <laughs> he got shot in the foot once, didn't he? When he was walking around on his hands? <laughs> he was walking... <laughs> Oh, man, he could walk on his hands faster than... He could run on his hands faster than most guys could. Oh. <laughs> Vecchio. 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 Carpazzo. You see, you tell yourself, when you kill one of your men, that you did it to save two or three Maybe ten, maybe a hundred others. You know how many I've lost under my command? How many? Ninety-four. That must mean I've saved ten times that many, right? Maybe twenty times. Maybe twenty times that many, right? That's the way you justify this whole mess. It's as simple as that. You rationalize the choice you have to make between the mission and your man. Except this time the mission is a man. <sighs> this Ryan had better be something special. He'd better cure the next disease or invent some light bulb that stays on forever. Something. Because I'm telling you. I wouldn't trade ten Ryans for one Vecchio or one Carpazzo. Amen. There it goes again. Sir, are you all right? Look, we got to move out in two hours. Grab yourself some rest. I'm losing this case. Do you know why I'm losing this case? Because I have a fucking client who is fucking lying to me. I, no, I, bullshit. No more bullshit, no more games. No more games. Tell me the truth. Miserable little fucking fuck, you're lying to me. You know you did. Well, looky here. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? This is my fucking self. What are you talking about? I know who you are. You're the fucking lawyer. You're the lawyer. You're the fucking the suit and the fucking tie. You, you really fucked this one up, didn't you, counselor? It sounds like you're gonna pump air so full of poison it's gonna come out of his fucking eyes. Where is Aaron? Where? Aaron is in a fucking corner somewhere crying because you scared him out. Now you gotta fucking deal with me, okay? I would fucking beat your ass on principle. You hear me? You try to pull that tough guy shit again, I'll fucking kick your ass to Sunday. You understand me? You understand? I understand. Aaron gets in trouble, he calls you. Run off and get scared like always and cry like a little fucking sissy. 
fucked everything up, got himself caught. So Aaron did kill Rushman. Have you seen the tape? Fucking answer me! Have you seen the fucking tape? Of course I saw it. Fucking business, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Be a man for yeah. once. Be a man. Yeah, so you're Roy. I'm sorry. Yeah, Marty, right? Yeah. Hey. God damn it! I fucking told. I fucking told him. Get rid of the fucking tape. It's motive. You ask. You're not gonna fucking show that tape to anyone. You're not gonna fucking show that tape to anyone. You fucking damn. hear me? When I was young, my mom used to patch all my clothes, take care of everything for me. My dad was a little sick of me because I was a cocky little kid. and My heart was getting broken all the time. You know who fixed that? It was mom. It's moms like you that need to be appreciated. This is your day. Happy Mother's Day.